So you want to continue to progress in that glute strengthening work. You feel like you've pretty well mastered the double leg bridge and you're ready to move on to something else. All right, single leg march is the next kind of progression into strengthening that booty. So bring it back, feet hip width apart. And this is where, again, you've hopefully mastered if you're able to do, you know, the, the double leg bridge, you have strong abdominal connection. You're not, as you're coming up, arching your back. Okay, you're maintaining that neutral spine. So this, again, should only really be done if you've mastered and feel good about the double leg bridge. So tummy tight. Bridge is very much an abdominal exercise, like pretty much any exercise, but we need that in order to avoid that arching of the back and flaring of the ribs. Take an inhale. As you exhale, squeeze and lift, coming up into that bridge position with both feet to start. And again, checking. Ribs are squared over the hips. It's just like if I was standing, okay, not popping my ribs way out and putting all this pressure on my lumbar. My glutes are squeezing, tummy tight, okay? I feel a little bit of lengthening in that, the front of the hip flexors. And then from here, we're just going to lift one leg and toe ball heel it down and lift the other, toe ball heel down, lift heel ball toe and toe ball heel down. And I'd like you to articulate the ankle because it's just a little ankle mobilizing and that's never a bad thing. And we're really trying to maintain that uh, pelvic height and, or, and maintain that level position. So you don't want those hips shifting. So just a little lift. And heel ball toe lower, heel ball toe lift, toe ball heel lower. And notice we're trying to maintain that strong position with those glutes. My hips aren't lowering or swaying. All right, so give that a go. Make sure, again, strong abdominal connection to avoid you feeling that in your back. And that will definitely give those glutes a little extra challenge.